This time, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell, who will present a resolution on my behalf to my good friend Kevin Upshore. Would Mr. Upshore and those accompanying him please join the Councilwoman at the podium? Always humble, I love it. <laughs> Thank you for the honor, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. Resolution on behalf of our president, President Daryl Clark, honoring and recognizing Kevin Upshur and the Strawberry Mansion Learning Center for their outstanding work throughout the Strawberry Mansion community. Whereas, Kevin Upshur is a graduate of Strawberry Mansion High School and attended Cheney University. All right. For over 20 years, he has worked as a social worker, most recently as a youth detention counselor, serving as a mentor for hundreds of kids. And whereas in 2008, Kevin founded the Strawberry Mansion Learning Center, where he transformed his mother's local bar into an education and resource center with after school and mentoring programs for the youth of Strawberry Mansion and Wow. Whereas his work at the center has been a guide, guided by his words of his late mother, Shirley, who died in 2006, urging Kevin to give back to the community to help curb the violence by creating a place where young people could learn. My mother is the motivation for this. He told the Daily News during an interview in 2013, and whereas the Strawberry Mansion Learning Center has become a safe haven for kids in the neighborhood by providing access to computers, libraries, healthy meals, trips for students, by providing a productive outlet for Philadelphia youth. The Strawberry Mansion Learning Center hopes to reduce crime among the students and whereas during the summer of 2016, while world was focused on Philadelphia during the Democratic National Convention. The Huffington Post visited North Philadelphia and Strawberry Mansion Learning Center while filming a story on gun violence. This placed a national spotlight on the center for its positive work in a challenging environment. And whereas in August of 2016, a GoFundMe page was created to raise money for the center's kitchen and bathroom renovation project. Because of the initial video posted by the Huffington Post, GoFundMe decided to spotlight the center's mission and donated the first $2,000 in the fundraising campaign. And Whereas, because of Kevin's great work, NBC News anchor Lester Holt visited the center to highlight the work in the community in a story that aired nationally. Almost overnight, GoFundMe donations began pouring in from people across the country. And whereas, Kevin has also been featured on The Rachel Ray Show, where he was presented with a $25,000 donation from Philadelphia-based Beneficial Bank. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the City of Philadelphia hereby honors and recognizes Kevin Upshur and the Shrubbery Mansion Learning Center for their outstanding work throughout the Strawberry Mansion community. Be it further resolved that an engrossed copy be presented to Kevin Upshur as evidence of the true and sincere sentiments of this legislative body. And this was introduced and sponsored by the President. I'm happy to join him, and we're happy that all members are pleased to be a part of it. Thank you. And the chair recognizes Kevin Upshore for remarks. 
Go ahead, sir. I'm just very honored to be here. Um, it's, it's really emotional for me because my mother asked me, she said, you got to do something. And I didn't know exactly what to do because I was already working with young people uh, over 20 years in the youth detention uh, at the Youth Study Center. So uh, as time went on, we, we transformed the bar because we had a building to work with. So we put books in the building. I said, let's open up a bookstore. People were saying, you're crazy. Open up a bookstore at 30th and Dolphin, nothing's going to happen. You know? But really, it wasn't about money. It was just about trying to make a difference and have an impact. And you know, everybody in this room, I look around, has, has been an influence and an encouragement. Uh, Councilwoman Janie Blackwell, who uh, given us uh, Lucian Blackwell Humanitarian Award, it touched me really deeply because I said, if I can get something in honor of her husband, that means I must be doing the right thing. And you know, I really appreciate that. And uh, I think about my mom all the time because that's the, that, that was, you know, we, we listen to our parents they tell you things that will help you to go the extra mile. So what my mom told me, um, I think about it, I said, wow, she really told me to do the right thing, and I followed it up, and, uh, and we're doing good things, and we're having an impact. And I'd like to thank Councilman Clark, President Clark, and his staff. Uh, they're always there to help. Uh, Councilman Clark stops by. I, sometimes I think he has a key. I mean, he just pops up. <laughs> and uh, he's like, what's going on, Kev? How you doing, man? And uh, on Saturdays, you know, he's standing on the corner like uh, one of the corner boys, you know. <laughs> so everybody in this room, I just want you to know I appreciate being here. It's an honor. And as I look around and see all the council people who uh, you don't know, you encourage me. When I even turn on the television and see meetings, council meetings, I'm encouraged. I'm watching it. You know, I'm saying, wow, <laughs> people are making a difference. So thank you so much and appreciate your time. That's what it is.